So at this uh, EHA meeting, uh, I presented the first data for a new combination of the menin inhibitor called bleximenib in combination with venetoclax and azacitidine in patients with relapsed and refractory KMT2A or NPM1 altered AML. Uh, bleximenib is a potent inhibitor of menin and in a phase one study was shown to be safe and active and so now uh, we present the first data of the new combination uh, in patients with relapsed and refractory disease. There were 60 patients uh, enrolled and the toxicity profile suggested no increased uh, toxicity compared to venetoclax plus azacitidine alone. Importantly, there was no evidence of QT prolongation. There was no evidence of uh, treatment-related differentiation syndrome, uh, apart from uh, two cases. Uh, and there were also very low rates of tumor lysis syndrome with only one case which only occurred prior to bleximinib commencement on day four of uh, each cycle. With respect to uh, the efficacy, uh, we reduced or narrowed uh, the efficacy population to those patients uh, that had KMT2A rearrangements uh, rather than other alterations, NPM1 uh, canonical uh, mutations, and also removed patients that were still in uh, cycle one and hadn't quite reached their efficacy evaluation point. So when we do that, there were 34 patients remaining. And if we look at uh, the overall response rate, uh, that was 79%. So 79% of patients had their bone marrow blast cleared very rapidly, uh, most within the first cycle of treatment. If we look individually uh, at the different parameters, uh, there was a composite uh, complete remission rate of 41%, and 24% of patients achieved at least CRH. In patients that had uh, KMT2A rearrangements, uh, the response rate was 62%, and in patients with NPM1 alterations, uh, the response was 90%. Uh, we also had half the population that had exposure to prior venetoclax, uh, and venetoclax uh, failure uh, is a really poor and high risk population with a very high unmet need. If we look at these patients, uh, the response rate was uh, 65%, so demonstrating bleximenib plus venaza uh, being particularly active uh, in the venaza failed population. And furthermore, uh, in patients that did not have any prior uh, venetoclax exposure, the bone marrow blast clearance rate was 94%. So in summary, uh, bleximenib, a new potent and specific uh, men inhibitor in combination with venaza, showing very promising early activity in patients with relapsed and refractory KMT2A or NPM1 altered AML.